Hi guys, how you going? So we're up at the van this weekend and we're going to be making a little bench for our TV. So we've just unboxed um, this TV. <coughs> so it's a uh, 55 inch. So I've just finished making this bunk bed. So if you actually want to check out uh, the video for the bunk bed, check the annotation above or check in the description. But um, I had a whole heap of offcuts of 90 by 45 and this is 140 by 45. So I thought keeping in the theme, and I've got some paint left over, I'll use the offcuts of this to actually make a bench for this. So that's the plan today. All right, so we'll um, get started. All right guys, so the plan is, um, this TV needs to be have a unit built for it that is high enough that this does not go past this window because we want it to have versatility. Again, it may end up over there, it may end up over here, but if it ends up back over here, we need to be able to open this window. Okay, uh, we've got an antenna cable here, which is long enough for any position on the wall, and we've got power points as well. So that's all fine. Um, and then the other factor is, is, is obviously the kids are walking up and down here, so we need it to be solid enough and big enough that if the kids knock it, that the TV doesn't come flying off. All right, so now this is actually, what's that, 1.2? So I think we should be making it around, say 1.4, with a little bit of space either side. Um, and then width-wise, we're using two of these boards, which is going to be 280, uh, which is more than enough for the feet. And then we've got to work out a way of potentially fixing this to the unit, or fixing the legs to the unit. So if it does get sort of knocked, that like almost the entire thing has to fall down, which it's going to be pretty impossible because you can't cut, you can't trust kids. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old they are. All right, so let's go outside and have a look at uh, the bits and pieces we've got. All right, guys. So these are all the bits and pieces we've got and all the tools I've got up with me. Um, I've got a drop saw over there, so that'll come in handy. We've got these off cuts which have been painted. Two big ones. And this will be basically the pivot. Alright, guys, so the fact that we cut it exactly the same size. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just give it a nice edge. We're going to chamfer it on a 45 degree angle. Put my little trim router. Uh, and that's the bit. And that's the bit we'll be using today. Alright guys, so we have our table top all finished um, and the reason I put that groove in the middle is because it had the rolled edge that wasn't a nice finish and um, I don't have any saw table here the rest I could have ripped it down and made sure it was a nice budge line so that looks fine Alright so that's the top, now let's work out what we're going to do with the legs Alright guys, right, straight up all the will just for the wind if it doesn't come through too good the sound. Okay, so what we've got is we've got our feet. So all we've done is I've basically stepped these in probably about 10 mil from either side to the edge. Um, it's not probably nice to finish the edge exactly the same width as the top. So you tape it in a little bit. And then what I've done is on just the um, miter saw, I've got my 45 tree cut, chopped the bit off. So that'll end up being cut. Obviously they go underneath, and then I'm going to put one on the end of the side here. Alright, now what we're going to do is work out what we're going to do with that one. So what I'm going to do is you need something like that. And then maybe with a piece. Yeah, 
do hook put a nice body five on these as well. Oh guys. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, we'll do the rest. Alright guys, let's just have a look at one little problem. I'm not sure if you can see it. I've pushed up the side a little bit here, it's a little bit rough. And the reason that's happened is because it looks like that's been whacked with a hammer or something, so it's not a straight edge. So we're going to have to either plane that out or sand it out. And then once we've got a nice straight edge, that will be successful. By the way, I'm loving this stander. If you want to check out the review, check in the description or the annotation above. But I used this yesterday for probably six hours straight, uh, building the bed bunks. And again, that's another video. But um, yeah, beautiful. I can't believe that when solid for six hours, I thought I'd break it for sure. But definitely worthwhile. And don't get the cordless sand. <laughs> get a corded one. Yeah, unless you've got plenty of batteries. Um, but not having the cord is fantastic. But basically, yeah, it can be a hindrance as well. But if you've got plenty of batteries, get the cord with you. Alright. So that's nice and smooth now. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, we've sanded these up, these are all right. Um, we're going to make some little feet with them. Now, the problem with having a flat surface like that is if the surface is flat and it's uneven, you're going to get rocking. So what we're going to do is put some little feet um, underneath, and we're just going to glue these to the same piece, basically. Alright guys, so now we need to work out the height. So the total height of this has to be 44 centimetres. So basically, I know I've got that, the top, I've got that, at the bottom, just put this in for the thickness of the top. Um, so that's 14 centimetres. Let's add, so 14 minus 44, there's 30. So we can count by this 30. Then I've got 10 mil little feet, so 29. So these are five, so that's 29 centimetres. Alright, let's go and cut these. Alright, guys, we've got four uprights now. Alright, so we've got bottom foot. Get a spacer. Let's use that as a spacer. Okay. And, and then this here, this will be a piece of timber running all the way through. And then we'll put a decorative hinge on the edge. Alright, how does that look? Now, my only problem, and I don't have. <laughs> um, my saw table, my dual saw table with me, is that the thickness of this is the same as the thickness of that, which is fine. But then, because I put these 45 degree angles on, really, I should have to make sure it's better. So, we'll see if I can do that quickly. Alright, guys, so fortunately, fortunately, my sliding Makita micro saw has, a, has enough reach to be able to, to rip that down. Now, it's the same width as the top here. Looking good, just like the Colosseum at Rome. Alright, so what we're going to do is now we're going to screw down from here to here, two top, two bottom, make sure we leave the spacer in, make sure everything's square, we'll put it in, and Bob's your uncle. Um, 
I might have just put 45 on me. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you think I should have or should not. Because I'm going to do it. Okay guys, so we have our feet. We have our legs and our spacer. And then to make sure that we get this position right, I've made a little spacer here. Which has to line up to the edge there. And if I use that for every one, then everything will end up in the right position. Then what we'll do is we'll keep this on the side. Okay, so spacer in place. Alright. And then what I'll do is, and like I've already done on this one here, <laughs> is I've marked a line for the centre of each piece of timber. Now what we're going to be doing too is, because um, I've got, I'm very limited with screws, so I've got these screws, but these screws are too short. So I'm using a horse bit, so we can counter sink quite deeply into here, so that gets me to reach about here, and then we use a screw to drive the rest. Okay, and then I'll show you how it's deep. Alright, so there you go, so we've got quite a bit of bite into the leg. Alright, so that's the plan, now set and repeat. Alright, so we've got the first one, make sure that that's square. Once that's square, we line these up. Alright, so we'll just clean these up. Alright, so first up, let's make sure that this is nice and square. Right. Once that's done, we'll clamp these two together. Okay. Then we need to just way from there to stand these two up. Okay. Buy some glue. Line this up on top. Make sure that these edges line up. Get your little spacer. Yep, that's all good. Line them back up again. And she's ready. Alright, flip her over, set and repeat. How's that? Alright, excess glue. Alright, so now we've got to do the seven piece. Alright guys, so we've got everything ready now. So with the legs, what we've done is, so the plan is to obviously drill them from underneath. So we've countersunk two holes, got them all prepped and ready. Okay. We'll use the box at the end, line everything up. Now, where the timber's going in the middle, I've countersunk a hole too, which I've put a screw through, I'll hold it in the middle. 
Um, and then that I'll put a, a dowel in to seal her up. Let's get this in place. Just so you can roughly see where everything's going. Alright. And then I've got this piece here, which is going to go in the middle. And I've done the similar finish on the end. Uh, let's see how easy it is to get these in place. So, Now I'm not going to actually glue this because I'm not sure if it's going to work out exactly the way I want, so if I want to change it, I'll change it. So that's it, I'll flip her over. She's very soft. How's that? So it's a, a kind of a, a weird looking TV stand, but uh, I think that's a great looking uh, bench as well. It might have a dual purpose. Guys, here we are, all complete. It's come up quite nice, although it does look a little bit like a park bench. But uh, anyway, they're the bits and pieces I had here um, to make it happen. But uh, let's go in for a bit of a close up. Alright guys, so there you go, all finished. Um, and again, it'll serve the purpose I need. Um, I needed it to be narrow. I needed it to be quite heavy and secure. Um, I think it'll tick all the boxes there. Now, what I might do is just figure out a way to actually secure the legs to it. Um, so it doesn't, um, the TV can't topple off it. But that might be another video. Uh, and whether I paint it or not, I actually quite like the way the look. Uh, as it is, so we'll see whether I paint it or not in a future video. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Um, you know anyone that might like the video, share it please. And if you're enjoying the content on the channel, subscribe. Alright, I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.